All right, today we're gonna to be finding profitable products using the Keep a Deals tab. And we're gonna be finding items that we can find on Amazon for super cheap and then sell back onto Amazon for more money. So let's get right into it. So right here, we have the Keep a Deals tab. I'm gonna show you guys some filters that I've been using that actually work and make money. So right here, we have new, the drop intervals, the day. The reason why that I do it like that is I want it to be just what's happening today because usually the best Amazon to Amazon flips in this deals tab are today. The deals don't last and they go quick. So basically if you do this filter, you're gonna get the new fresh flips, right? And then you wanna do drop percentage. This is kind of up to you, but I do 40 and above. And then here you have a price range. You can really play around with the price range, but I like to stick to a higher price range. That's just my personal you know, thing that works for me. So that's what I do. And then there's the check boxes down here. This is the only one that I have checked. So let's just get right into it. See if a few of these leads, see if they're any good. First off, I want to start off at the toys category because usually with toys, there's a lot of supply and demand issues. So especially around Q4, they're, you know, it's really good to flip toys. But right now it's at the beginning of the year, but there's still opportunity, right? So let's just get right into it. So right here, this one looks pretty decent right off the bat. When Amazon's out of stock, it's going for over $35.99. Pretty cool. Let's actually see if it's selling for that price point though. So we're gonna go into the data and the offers tab. And then we're gonna include historical offers to see the past people that were selling. And then here you can see this guy clearly had five stock and then he went down to three. So he sold two at $35.99. So we put that into our seller amp calculator. Um, let's see, seller amp calculator here. Do, 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 do. All right, 3526. So if you put 35, right, you make $12 profit. Pretty amazing. So they're back in stock. That's very weird that Amazon has an order limit of 116, but you know, it's possible that Amazon doesn't have too much stock of this, so you could buy it, and if it doesn't work out, you could return it. Um, so this is a potential flip. Not Nothing too amazing here, especially since we only see that this guy sold. So this one's a potential flip. It's not the best in the world, but let's move on from that. So we have this one. So we have Fisher Price. I've sold Fisher Price items before. They're usually pretty good. So right here, it looks like another seller went on this listing for $129.95. So I have bought from third-party sellers before when doing Amazon to Amazon flips, but you just kind of have to be careful. So let's just look at the data and see if it sold for more than that at any time period, right? Let's see here, with this. So not seeing anything, so I think I'm gonna move on. We can do all, so we see. So it looks like this guy might have sold for that price point, but we're not sure. This guy probably sold for 105. And then let's look over here. Just kind of deep dive. So it looks like somebody did sell. You see that offer count? So the offer count went from three to zero and they did chime in here at 225. So it's possible you could sell this for more than 139, but I'm personally gonna pass. Uh, I mean, it looks decent, but it's not, I think it looks decent, but it's not amazing. Um, yeah, I mean, there's some potential here because it did sell above 200 in the past, but really for 139, it's not that much of a discount. So I'm gonna move on. So really in this video, you guys are just seeing how I go through this, right? So if you guys are interested in learning how to do Amazon to Amazon flips, this would be a really good video to just keep on watching because Really, you're just gonna see how I analyze these different deals to see whether or not you wanna start doing that method. So let's see here. Let's move on from that one. Let's 
So there's some movement on the offer count here. So it might move for 50. Somebody's currently at 30. Let's see what the offer says. And I really, you guys are going to see this as a common theme. I really like checking the offers tab because it just gives you so much more data to work off of. Uh, let's see. So here it's not, there's 27. Uh, for this one, I want to pass two. And some of the stuff, like, you just got to keep moving forward. This one might be pretty decent. Uh, let's turn sales rank on. I was doing that without sales rank, so it probably looked pretty weird for y'all. But, so somebody's at 4611. And then, looks like somebody definitely sold out at 6988. But there's really not too much room. But somebody did sell at 99 there. Uh, or I, yeah, it looks like somebody definitely sold there at 99. So this is what I'm talking about. So see how it was at 99 and then the offer count changed from right here. So there's some type of lag in Keepa, but the sales rank changed, the offer count changed. It did go up, but this kind of leads me to believe that somebody did sell out. Um, it's, it's pretty hard to tell, but it's possible you could sell it for... 80 bucks and make some money but that one's kind of a tight one this one looks pretty decent right off the bat so looks like somebody did go out of stock there at 170 so it's possible uh, let's see the previous history 150 150 50 so there's really not too much meat on the bone we can go to the calculator on this one this one looks doesn't look like there's too much meat on the bone, but we'll uh, see what's going going on. So yeah, if you sold for 140 and you bought for 99.95, you can make 12 bucks. Uh, not really about that. And this person, this is what I don't like about this one is that they were in stock for such a long time, and like not everything's gonna be a winner. And I'll show you guys what when we eventually do get to something that's super good uh i'll let you guys know let's see yeah so this is something that looks a lot better uh let's look at the reviews and all the ratings so amazon's back in stock on this one for 40 bucks which is pretty nice and then some they only have one left i love seeing that when amazon only has one left you know okay i'm gonna take this stock and they're not gonna come back in stock for a little while i really like seeing that and then the next person up is priced for over 70 bucks so that's a really good sign and then if you look at the keeper here this person sold one at 76 so based on and this person has buy box so this is a really important factor guys is Amazon can be on a listing, but somebody else can get buy box for as much as double the price. I've seen even over triple the price on Amazon. So Amazon's here. So Amazon's one of the other sellers, but for whatever reason, Amazon's like, you know what? Let's give this guy a knee high sales, right? Let's give him the sales. So for whatever reason, they're letting this other guy basically make money while they're the lower price on listing, which is kind of like crazy to think about, but it's just how it works. So let's input $39.99. So this is something I would definitely buy. Like if you guys watch this video and it's there, scoop it up. Um, I'm gonna leave this for whoever watches the video and this is gonna come out like right after I filmed it. So if it's still here, you guys can go and buy it if you want. Uh, I personally would buy this. I would personally buy this because, and you can see it has a history of the past. Amazon was in stock like it is now, and then it went out of stock. And then this person, same guy, knee high, right? He's there making money on this every single time he's buying from Amazon, selling back on Amazon and making profit. So every time he's making $10, nothing crazy, right? But this is just one item that he's been adding to the catalog. And it has this historic nature of doing this where Amazon comes in stock with probably a few, right? And then that person that's been getting the buy box, this knee high person, they just keep on selling, they keep on selling. They buy here, they buy low, they buy low, right, from Amazon, and then they sell higher on Amazon. That's really, 
what they're doing. So that's pretty cool. I would definitely buy that. Uh, let's move on. So this one is just a pass. And I can explain the reason why this is a, oh, whoops. This, I don't even know where one now, this one. The reason why this one was a pass, hopefully I'm going, I'm not going too quick for everybody, but the reason why this one's a pass is because the price floor is consistently lower while when it's on a price spike. So we would have to probably buy it for, you know, 70 bucks. We got to sell it for roughly double. I like to think like rule of thumb, if you buy something for 70, you have to sell for 140. That's just kind of how my mind works with selling on Amazon. If I buy an item, it roughly has to sell for double. Uh, that's not always the case, but as a general rule of thumb, it really helps out. So just looking at this, the price point usually is around 70. So I'm not really gonna be able to buy it for a cheap price and then sell it for a higher price. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. If you guys are confused by anything that I'm saying in this video, definitely leave a comment below and I'm more than happy to help you guys out. So let's see, 30 bucks. All right, so we're gonna pass on that one. 30 bucks, uh, let's see, 95. 95, 95. So this one looks, okay. So Easter related item, Easter's coming up. So since Easter's coming up, I'm gonna actually look at the previous history on this. So it looks like back, so there's a historic price spike, looks like. So there's a price spike there and it's starting to price spike again and Easter's coming up. So this might be a potential seasonal more seasonal play and it's temporarily lower. Let's see if it sells at that $40 price point, $40, $50 price point. I'm just waiting on the offers tab. So let's see if it ever sell, sold for that price point. So they're really moving for 21.33. And then we get a filter by high price. So somebody looks like somebody sold for 60 at some point. Um, somebody sold three at 47. 25, so mostly there's really just not enough data on people selling it at a higher price, but this could potentially make you a few bucks. Uh, I'm gonna just continue on. So it's weird to see this Care Bear price for that high. Very weird to see this Care Bear price that high, but we can look into that one. So 109, what's the other guy at? 37, so this one's actually, this is what I like to call geo arbitrage. I don't know what to call it other than that, but basically you're buying from like a different country and then you're selling it on Amazon US. So this is an example where you're buying it on Amazon UK where the price is super cheap and then you're selling it on Amazon US for a higher price. The only problem here is that when you look into it, getting it from the UK has $93 shipping. So for that reason, like like Shark Tank, for that reason, I'm out, right? <laughs> so I'm just gonna continue on. We have Squishmallows. So I'm just kind of like quickly looking at the graphs to see, okay, is it a big enough drop so we can come in and make some money? This one looks somewhat interesting. It's just not gonna do it. So really, this is just something that I like to do. Just basically just come in here every now and then, scroll through, see if we find any deals. So there was one potential item that I would buy so far. So we're kind of striking out, but um, I'm sure there's something good in here. 21, 21. See, so I'm, I'm really just trying to glance through this really quick so I can find something really good. 
uh, as an example. And this is really how fast I go through it. I just kind of glance at the keeper graph. Really what I'm looking for is a big drop, like a big current drop, but the average is higher. So this one's a really interesting one. Uh, let's see, the other graph looked a little bit better, like the glancing over. But basically what you're looking for is a recent drop, and then you're gonna sell it, so you're buying something below market, and then you're gonna sell it for its market value. Let's try, let's see, let's see video games really quick. Wow, okay. So it looks like this game did sell for $153 in the past, and it's currently 100 so you can make a few bucks on that. That's what it looks like. But it's probably more of a slower seller. That's the only downside, or one of the downsides, right? Let's see. So we're going to move on from that one. Yo, yo. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff in here to go over. We look at the books category. I really like media for ADA flips, but I also hate it because when Amazon goes in stock, sometimes they don't go away. Pass on that one. We'll do the drop percentage a little bit higher. So this looks like a book that usually consistently sells a bit higher. You can see in the past 67, that went to 49, that went to 40. So there's some potential in this book if you buy at 1420. sort for new so somebody sold prime for 43 40 43 and that was in November so pretty recently 28 20 so let's look at the current price so at 43 I'm pretty sure you would make some profit let's see so if you bought new a billion used copies so this person has it new plus five dollar shipping so that comes out to in a way 1420 plus five 1420 plus five is that 88 come out to 20 then you sell it for 42. Comes out to 20, you make $8 profit. Not terrible, uh, to be honest, not terrible. I, th I really think this book in general, I think the, yeah, and you can see past here, 4630. So really right now this book is in new condition, sold by that third party seller below market. So it's below the 90 day selling price and really you can just sell it above market that's pretty much i've seen a lot of book flippers do that too where they just buy it a little bit below market and then they sell it above market sometimes there's some seasonality here and this book in particular it doesn't look like there's any seasonality or anything like that it's some type of maybe dungeons and dragons kind of guide or maybe some type of guide about dragons really not too sure about it um, like what the what it's necessarily about is just about dragons so nothing seasonal but I could totally see how you could buy this for 20 sell it for 40 and then make eight dollars profit you would just have to be a little patient with it but it is a potential play for sure so we're gonna move on from that uh, 
Let's see here. So we got another textbook. This textbook looks pretty cool. It's 28.88. Kind of similar story with that book, but it didn't drop as much. So this looks like an error <laughs> that this seller did for whatever reason. I'm going to look into that. I think they might have already got bought up. And that's really what I was saying. Like the good deals do go quick. They yeah, they definitely they definitely got bought up. But you can see here, somebody did sell it for twelve forty nine new. I'll put that in here. So if you bought this when whoops. If you bought this when the alert was first sent out, this one was an hour ago. So somebody was doing this one hour ago and they were right place, right time. They bought this book for twelve forty nine. And then they sold it back on Amazon and made a profit from their house. That's a really great thing about this method too. Like when I didn't have transportation, but I needed to make money, I would do this. I would literally get off when I was in high, like when I was in college, right? I would get off of college and just sit here doing the keep of deals. And I would find an item where maybe I'm sitting and it takes me a few minutes and I find it for like this scenario, it's 12, or my bad. I don't know why I copied 20 there. It was 12.49. I can just put that in there. 12.49. And then you sell it for $47. And then you make 18 bucks. And it's pretty nice because you buy these books, they come in, right? And then you just sell them back. You can merchant fulfill them. So ship them out yourself or send them into Amazon. This is a kind of a book that I would just send into Amazon because really I'm not worried about the price tanking or anything like you're just sending it in and then you're going to price it at market value price sell it and get a premium usually because you're doing prime shipping right if you're sending in your item to Amazon you're going to be able to get that prime badge like this where it says ships from Amazon so that's really nice and it's a really decent way to make money like I've made several thousand dollars just off of just sitting and doing Cuba deals. Um, it's kind of one of those things where like, especially now my business is not built off of Cuba deals, but like you can just sit here and make an extra 500 to a thousand bucks a month if you really just grind it out. And it kind of like it compounds too, because you can set the tracking alerts when you hit track product you can set alerts in here for whatever you want. So you could say, give me an alert for when, like, let's go back to this book. So like, say somebody messed up their price, like this guy messed up their price. So you could set an alert to track product. Let's remove this. When the buy box is, you could set like one for where the when the buy box is a certain price. So like, say when the buy box is below 20 bucks, right? You'll get an alert set out when you hit start tracking and that alert will tell you, okay, the product is now this price. And when you get that alert, you'll know, okay, it's below market value. I can just buy it and then sell it and flip it back on Amazon. So that was one of the really good methods too, that when I would find stuff like this where somebody mispriced and I missed out on the opportunity, I'd be like, man, you know, that sucks. But I'd set the alert because you can see the same thing happened back here. This person, for whatever reason, first class books, they price their inventory. What is that? Like 30 or 40 bucks below market value. So you could even buy it for 1720 and still make like 10 bucks just easily. So pretty cool. Let's see what else we got here. So really, it seems like the books are doing pretty well right now. So here, 49.20, and then they lowered their price. Whoa, back, okay. Back here, it was going for some money. Human development, okay, so this is McGraw-Hill. I'm gonna pass on that because it's McGraw-Hill. And yeah, so now we're getting to kind of more of the lower rank books that are somewhat hard not to figure out, but they're just 
somewhat hard to deal with. So these, so this is something that kind of interests me right now. So right now, these are on discount for $75.94. And I bet, so if we look in the past, let's see here. I mean, there's FBA. That guy's FBA. Huh. So it looks like it kind of peaked over here, or really peaked over here in August. So for whatever reason in August, this book was flying off the shelves and it was going for that market value of 251. But right now, it's on discount at 75 bucks. So let's zoom out more, see if that's a trend. And you can see this is a trend year over year. So I know this graph looks very confusing and there's a lot going on, but there's tons of money to be made in learning, really learning on how to read this. So you see every year, let's see there. So January, right, January there. Let's see August here, January here. So really like January, Jan, let's see. July, August, September. So yeah, there's really just points of where this book goes absolutely wild. But for whatever reason, this person's pricing their book very below market value. It is a Pearson book too, so you're gonna wanna make sure you're on gated in that brand. But basically, this is a book, it looks like you could sell, you could buy for $75.94 and sell for probably around 200 bucks if I had to guess. And we'll see if the data supports that in the offers tab. Oh yeah, beautiful rank. Yeah, I don't know why that other person is selling their book for so cheap, so we'll look into this one. This one might be a really good flip. So they have seven new copies of this book. Ecampus, let's see, I can sell it, pretty cool. So they have seven copies of this book. It routinely goes for 230, so absolutely insane. And I mean, it's, it's sold for that. Like you can look at the offers. This isn't my opinion, right? I'm just looking in here and seeing like this person says they sold nine at 260. These drops are kind of hard to read, but they might've sold at 380, right? Over here you can see this guy sold two at 212, right? So this is something I would definitely take a chance on. Maybe I wouldn't buy all seven, but I would buy a pretty decent amount um, and just see where, see where it goes, right? So let's get this buy cost, put it in here. So let's say you want you want to undercut, right? And you do 190, you're still doubling your money from home and making 72 bucks profit a piece. Pretty cool. Uh, so all of the leads that I've found in this video, I'm not gonna buy. I'm just gonna post this video. You guys can do whatever you want with the video. Um, you know, you guys, if you really liked one of the leads in the video, you can go and buy it if you really want, um, you know, at your own risk, right? <laughs> but this is really how I was able to add an extra few thousand bucks a month when I had a lot of trouble, like, transporting around. I live in the United States, and you basically have to have a car, and I had a period of my life where I would basically my car would break down all the time and I needed a way I like was forced I, I didn't want to necessarily learn keep a deals and a to a flips and all this other stuff but I was basically forced into okay how can I sit at home and make money at my computer have it all come to my door and not have to leave and this was the perfect solution to that so if you guys have enjoyed a video like this I know it's a bit of a longer video 
definitely leave a comment if you like videos where I source and help you guys make money from home. You know, definitely let me know and I'll make more helpful videos for y'all. Really appreciate it. See you guys later. Bye-bye.